I always say this in videos, being from South Carolina, these are my original teeth. So we'll throw that stereotype out the window right away. Um, Give me a nice little smile. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Perfect. The muddy smile. Dan Brody uh, was born and raised in South Carolina. I somehow made it up to the frozen tundra of Minnesota, where you have to auger in the ice to catch your meals during ice fishing season. Oh, well, first off, I'm the general manager here at Subaru of Rochester. Uh, what does a typical day look like for me? Do we have an hour worth of tape that I can go through every day? So let me just tell you what I love about my job. How about that? Because to list everything we do throughout a day would literally, I, I would burn up the whole video. Let's say what I love about my job, it's working with people, uh, building our team up, getting the camaraderie there, having fun doing what you're doing and enjoying what you're doing and trying to make this establishment where you don't think of it as you're coming to work, right? Because if you love what you do, you're not working. I just, I love that aspect of it. It's people. We're in the people business. Yeah, so my background up until end of 2010, I raced some in the NASCAR uh, Camp World Truck Series and the NASCAR Bush Series or they have different title sponsors now. And um, yeah, I did that most of the 2000s. So what brought me to this business really is a lot of what I did racing goes hand in hand with what we do here in the automotive business is working as a team, you know, building a great culture and team-based results. And I know I say team a lot, but it really takes a team to do what we do. Oh, good, the serious questions are out of the way. Now I can be like 60 minutes, well, Barbara, let me tell you. If you could trade places with any character in a book, movie, or TV show for one day, would it Oh, James Bond, because I love Aston Martins. Totally James Bond. If you could time travel to any period, where would you go? Probably the 50s. I've always been intrigued by that era, for sure. Automobiles, aircraft, everything to do with that era, right? So, yeah, probably the 50s. Alrighty then. Oh!